Hello everyone, welcome back to 3D Print Lab. Today we'll be printing a two video game models, not just one. We'll be printing the Nod Refinery and the Harvester that goes with it, because one is location. The Nod Harvester and Refinery is within the Command and Conquer 3 universe. Let's do extraction. First off, we're going to open up the CNC Asset Extractor. And we're going to extract out the refinery and bring it into 3ds Max 2009 using the W3C import scripts. I think it's W3C. The file format that the Manicomper files are in. And we're going to take a render of the bottom of the refinery and we're going to bring it into Photoshop and we're going to make a new base for the refinery. So we're just gonna outline it and then go ahead and remove this top part because that's actually not in the base as it's all as it is all overhang. Now we're gonna bring that shape into Illustrator and live trace it. Once in this live trace we're gonna bring it back into 3 minutes 2009. And we're just going to scale it and rotate it so it's the correct orientation. And we're going to make sure that we align it in the correct spot. This will give us a nice smooth base and it'll be completely uniform and print really well. These models are notorious for their bottoms not being completely smooth. They were never intended to be printed, but they do actually print pretty well. It looks like 3ds Max crashed right there, so we just started right back up. Old software doesn't look very well. It's good enough. I'm gonna bring in the mesh mixer. I'm gonna add support where it needs it. So these front two beams will need to be supported. And I like to over support when it comes to this because. If you just do a single support rod, it does have a tendency to try to fall over. So now we're going to be looking at it. It looks like there's an area that's not supported. So we're going to go ahead and add some support to that as well. And there was a problem with the model, so we had to go back into 3ds Max and make a new file. I'll just bring it back into Mesh Mixer and do it again. Now we're going to bring it into MakerWare and slice it off. We're going to look layer by layer to make sure that it's going to print correctly. And Phase 5 is now production. It took 3 hours and 53 minutes. It took 65 grams of my biodegradable silver PLA, which is my favorite color since it really does look the best. I suppose you could paint them. I am going to send some of these parts off to a guy in Australia and he's going to paint them. And I can't wait to see it. It's gonna be really cool. It really needs to hit them with automotive filler primer and wet sand them to get them really smooth, and then airbrush them, and then detail paint, and then do a clear coat, and then look amazing. Really smooth and bright. And there's de rigging. De rigging on this was pretty easy. Just had to get around the base all the way, get rid of the raft, and then carefully take off that support as to not break anything. There it is, here it is, facing right, facing back, and the underside, which came out pretty smooth. Phase 2 is extraction for the harvester. I'm going to bring it into 3ds Max, and it looks like the tracks are a different model file. So we're going to have to combine those two model files together. And this front part of the harvester is just a plane, so we're going to have to extract it. Or extrude it. We're going to have to extrude it so that it is not just a single plane, it actually has geometry. I'm going to bring it into everywhere and slice it off. It will be checking 
we'll be checking to see where the support is going to be needed. I'm going to bring it back in the mesh mixer. I'm going to make sure that we support every location that needs to be supported. A little bit difficult to deal with those tight overhangs inside the model, but it's possible to deal with. Phase 4 is conversion. I'm going to bring in the makeware and slice it off and check and make sure that there will be no unaccounted overhangs. And I'd just like to do this as my pre flight. Looks like it passed pre flight, pre -flight inspections. We're going to go ahead and do phase 5, which is production. It took 57 minutes and there's only 11 grams of PLA. And not only did I decide to do a silver one, I also did a red one. And when I started to derig these, the tracks actually fell off because they were not connected to the rest of the um, geometry. But a little bit of glue fixed that. I could have fixed that in the print had I seen it, but that's really hard to see when it's just like when it's a matter of like one millimeter. It's really hard to see within the program. A little bit of glue and they. Uh, Step back together and work quite nicely. There's the red one. Really smooth, really nice. Other side. And then here's the harvester backed up into the refinery. I believe that's how it looks in the game. And there it is again. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe, like, share, comment, whatever you gotta do. If you want something, I will send it to you. Till I get it. Yes. I'll leave it at that. See you next time.